for watching. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get dewy glowing skin without looking all greasy and oily. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, then please just keep watching. Alrighty, so the dewy skin trend has been around for quite some time now and I honestly think it's just going to stay. The finish it leaves on the skin is very natural and radiant and when done right it looks immaculate and you look like you're glowing from within. But when done wrong, it just looks like you dunked your face in a bowl of oil and it is just not cute whatsoever. If you're anything like me and you have extremely oily skin or just oily or you have oily combination skin, it's very easy to get carried away because you naturally have that glow on your face. Sometimes it's excessive glow, sometimes it's okay. But usually when you add more shimmer to your face on top of, you know, your already glowing face, <laughs> nice words, um, what's this? It can tend to look a little too much, too shiny, and the makeup looks caked on and it's just not a good look. So to prevent all that from happening, if you have oily or oily combination skin, you're going to need two things, and that is a matte foundation and a liquid highlighter. Now I know what some of you guys might be thinking. You're like, um, we came here because we want to learn how to get dewy skin, not matte. So what is the matte foundation for? But because our skin is naturally oily and we do tend to get that shininess on our face, we need to control where we want it matte and where we want it shimmery or glowy. All the oily girls out there know the struggle when there's an oily film um, around like the nose area here on the inner cheeks and it can tend to make the makeup look cakey and you look like you're sweaty and it's just it's not a good look. On top of that it enlarges the pores as well so again we need to control where we want this dewiness or this glow um, because it's just it's just not happening if we do it all over the face because again we're already oily. What we want is just for that dewiness to remain on the highest points of our cheeks just to lift every everything up and like make your cheekbones look a lot higher and of course whenever you move you have that nice glow you guys know what I mean but yeah basically we just want to keep it on this region over here we want a little bit on our nose maybe a little bit on the chin and the cupid's bow but that's it we don't want it like all over our face so again tip number one we are going to use a matte foundation to ensure that the base of our face is matte and nothing will get too oily or too shiny the foundation I recommend that will do this job perfectly is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. This is extremely light on the skin and has like a light to medium coverage, but it's very buildable so if you want like a, a high coverage uh, foundation, you could just build it up to be that. But yeah, more importantly, this baby stays matte all day so you're not gonna get any surprise glowiness like on your nose or anything like that. When I used to buy um, dewy foundations, like what, what would happen was that in the middle of the day, literally guys, when I would like rub my nose or something, like just pat my nose like that, my fingertips will be so oily and when I go like that, it just feels so thick and wet and just, it's just not cute. So yeah, matte foundation girls, matte foundation. To add that dewiness and add that glow, we are going to use a liquid highlighter. This is what's going to make you look immaculate and glowing from within and it's going to be like a controlled glow rather than just boom on your face, I'm a disco ball glow. The one I'm using today is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this one is in rose gold. It comes in a tube like this, or a bottle like this. Um, just take the cap off and there's a pump, so it's really, really good. I recommend a liquid highlighter opposed to a powder highlighter because liquid highlighters tend to like melt into the skin. Well, at least this one does, right? So the Becca Skin uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector, it just melts on the skin, and it just blends in with your foundation, and it looks super duper natural. Um, the issue I have with like powder uh, highlighters is that it just tends to like just lay on the top of your foundation rather than blend in or melt into your foundation and it looks very artificial it doesn't look natural it just looks like you just dusted something on there and went on your way which you did but <laughs> yeah you just we want a natural glow and um, I'm wearing it today obviously um, and it just gives that natural glow it doesn't look like there's just a product sitting on top of my face so we're just going to highlight the highest point of our cheekbones and what this is gonna do is it's going to to lift our cheekbones, make our cheekbones look like they are higher, and obviously it's going to give that beautiful dewy glow, and like I said, every time you move, you're all like, oh my god, I'm so glowy and dewy. You know what I mean. And I'm just going to be using my fingers for this, you don't need no fancy tools or anything like that. This is a liquid product, and I find that it blends so much better when you use your fingers. You can use a brush if you're used to that, it's just, I'm not, I like using my fingers. I'm also going to add just a little bit on the tip of my nose, and I do this because we naturally get oily in this um, region over here. And we want this look to look very natural, um, but obviously it's not to the extent of when it actually like you don't you didn't put foundation. I don't know about you guys, but I get like extremely oily in my nose 
um, section. But yeah, we want this to be like a controlled glow. So I'm just going to put just a little bit on the tip of my nose. I'm going to add just a little bit on my cupid's bow as well. And this is going to make your lips look bigger and juicier. And it just looks really, really nice. Last thing, I'm just going to place that product a little bit on my chin. And again, I'm just mimicking where it naturally gets a little shiny. But of course, again, we want the controlled shine. So yeah, I just want a natural look. But basically, this is the final look over here. It looks very natural. You just look very dewy, very glowy, and it's not too extreme. It's not some shimmery powder sitting just on top of your foundation, not blending in or anything like that. This is with your foundation. It's blended in. It melted into your foundation. And then the rest of your face is completely matte, and it looks very nice, I think. If you guys live outside of the US and you can't get your hands on like uh, Makeup Forever or Becca, um, I highly suggest that you go on Strawberry Nuts website because they carry these stuff and they ship worldwide. They ship where I'm from, which is New Zealand. So yeah. But yeah, if you can't find it, Strawberry Nut has your back. So go on to their website, which I will link down below. Anyways, that is it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you like it and leave me a comment down below if you have any uh, questions or comments or you just want to say hi just leave a comment down below also don't forget to subscribe to strawberry nets channel and of course my channel if you want to see more videos like this again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time bye